Hey everyone, today in the Plastic Canvas I'm going to show you how to paint a leather robe. Hey everyone, Matty from the Plastic Canvas and welcome to today's painting video. And like I said in the intro today, I'm going to show you how to paint a leather robe and for that I'm going to use Randai here from Gatefall. So when you're painting leather, I think the main thing that you want to focus on is getting lots of variation in the tones that you use. Because leather is a natural product and so it has a lot of natural variation in its colours, but also it will fade over time. So what we're going to make sure that we do today is get a really, really strong contrast between the darkest part of our shadow and the brightest part of our highlights. So you can see here that I've started by base coating with Muddy Brown, which is my darkest brown. But after I'd finished base coating, I didn't think this was a dark enough base to start with because effectively I wanted this base coat to be the shadows. So what I've then done is re-base coated, but mix some black in with the Muddy Brown just to make sure that it starts really, really dark. So that as I start to build up the highlights and by the time I get to the brightest highlight, it's going to have a really, really strong contrast with these shadows that are left behind by this base coat. So now that that base coat is done, I'm now going to just the straight muddy brown to do the first layer of the highlighting. So for this first layer, I'm just picking out any parts of the folds that I think would be getting any amount of light because then all of the other layers of the highlighting will be going over the top of this. But what I am just being careful of with this first layer is to make sure that I do actually leave some of that muddy brown and the black original base coat showing because whatever of that layer is still showing through at the end is going to be the darkest part of the shadows. And now we're moving on to the second layer of the highlighting. So for this layer, I'm still mostly using muddy brown, but I have added a little bit of the leather brown in, and that's just going to start to lighten it off a little bit. And so now with this layer, I'm covering the same sorts of areas that I did with the previous layer of the highlighting, but I'm just not covering as much. I'm just slightly reducing the amount of surface area that I'm covering towards where I want the brightest part of the highlight to be. So I'm just making sure that I leave part of the previous layer still showing and then just feathering out the edges. So just cleaning off the bristles of the brush and then just thinning that edge out so that as it gradually becomes thinner and thinner, it allows more and more of the layer underneath to show through. And then that's what's going to give us those nice smooth blends. And then now we're already on to the next layer of the highlighting. So I've taken that exact same mix that I used for the previous layer, but just mixed in more of the leather brown. But like with the layer before that, I've even further reduced the amount of surface area that I'm covering so that now both of the previous layers of highlighting can still be seen. But again, feathering out the edges so that we get nice smooth blends back into those previous layers. And I'm just going to keep repeating that layer by layer, gradually mixing in more and more of the leather brown until we end up using just straight leather brown for just the brightest part of the highlights, and that's what's going to give us that really, really strong contrast. So we were able to do that by building it up over several layers, but we did need to start really, really dark with that original base coat color, because that's what's left to show through as the darkest part of the shadows. And then we just gradually lighten it off layer by layer, feathering the edge of each layer out as we go, until we get to our brightest highlight that we want to get to. And so that's all there is to painting a leather robe. So thank you very, very much for checking out another one of my videos. I really hope you found it useful and have something here that you can take away and use in your own painting. If you do, please consider giving the video a thumbs up as well as hitting that subscribe button and stopping by the Facebook, Twitter and Instagram accounts for this channel. But that's going to do us for today. So until next time, this is Matt from The Plastic Canvas signing out. Happy painting, everyone. Cheers.